I got a story if you want the story. I want the story. Okay, you'll get the story. So, I got burnt out by the, the relationships. And I don't feel fulfilled. I just wasn't that person. I love people and, and being here and being on this level. There's always been this burning desire to, to do something special, to help others. And I never could really find it. And I was uh, fairly negative about uh, humans. Then when I discovered permaculture, I started to see examples of how that's not necessarily true. I remember when I first took my permaculture design certification, for me it was like a coming home. And I caught the last two or three days of a permaculture design course that was being taught. And here was this group of people who were, they were doing things that were benefiting the environment and they were happy. This is the first time I've ever met happy environmentalists. And so to me, this was revolutionary. And on that farm, I learned permaculture, but I also learned about, yeah, what food really is and where it comes from, what it takes to, to grow food, but what real food tastes like. It started becoming a way of living for me. I started learning to grow food after I started teaching to people that was like me before to grow food uh, organically in the cities. We teach people to redesign their food systems completely by creating permanent, permanent beds, uh, passive water harvesting systems in their fields, uh, which limits erosion, which is a huge problem. But we also uh, put them in touch with seed banks where they can get seed that can be saved help to accumulate water in the soils, but also help to fix the soils and help to create a system which is permanent, which is the permanent side of, of, of permaculture. I know that if I'm planting that fruit trees, I'll be harvesting fruits forever and even if, uh, for my family, my relatives and the people who will be moving around and will be benefiting from that. And you know, the fruit trees are really nice. If we support nature, the nature will take care of us. But if we don't take care of nature, the nature will not take care of us. And also to grow your food is a, such an amazing experience. To see like the first leaves that, that come out, the first flowers, the, to taste your first fruit that was uh, made of love. Yeah, because you put the seed and you take care of it every day and then it takes care of you. So it's a win-win relationship. I like to grow my own food and to eat like especially something like organic and healthy. So when I have the tomato or cucumber or whatever I have in the farm, I take it to the house and I, saw, I see my kids eating it, I feel happy because I don't worry about that because I know it's 100% organic. The story that I'm trying to send to the communities that they can set uh, sustainable household systems that uh, support themselves so they don't need to look for jobs somewhere but they can uh, create food, diverse food within wherever they are. And uh, in South Africa we have actually created a number of household nodes. These people feel like they're doing something productive and that was I think part of the reason that they they were that way is because they were doing things, right? They weren't they weren't worried about sending off their check to the nonprofit organization. They weren't worried about sending a letter to their congressman. They were just planting trees. We started doing some research, my, my partner Mike and I, um, about what we could do with farming in the city. Realized pretty quickly, mainly because we were in New York and we didn't have any friends, this question of community uh, was really our, our primary, that you need to be present that the people that drive community can't just drop the ball, you, you need to hold on to that. How do we bring the people piece and the land piece together? I think that that's the biggest challenge and that we're stepping more into that potential. To work in the zone zero, zero, zero. Because now we have a lot of tools to change the outside, but we really have to start in ourselves. And there are like, not like it's not well accepted in the movement and I think it's the most important thing in that moment and if you if you don't change here if you don't polish yourself if you don't start here you can change nothing outside so I, for myself this is the next step the next big step in a permaculture <laughs>
Makaja ya yaga moto, be makaja ya yaga moto, be makaja ya yaga moto, yinde, yinde lelo, yinde.